good night everyone now I've come in to review five top plant-based mints for my plant-based range so without further ado I'm gonna get straight into this one I'm kind of excited about this I thought about this today the 2nd of April 2022 so yeah let's go so at number five it's my mock duck meat if you can just about see that there with my light and this is from the wing yip store in the united kingdom wing yip store is based in london birmingham manchester but you might have an oriental store near you that might sell it it's really good and in the wing yip store it's about two pound fifty roughly about two pound fifty two pound sixty five for this little tin here 283 grams which is not bad and it can produce a couple of meals very light for my stomach especially after my surgery it's been really great and light but flavoursome I would say for my palate I would need a little bit of more chilli and a more seasoned type of meat alternative because I like flavour and so I would give it about 7 out of 10. Number 4 for me is the plant menu. No chicken tikka pieces from Aldi. Very good, very flavoursome. Really good in price. 175 roundabout. I paid, it might be up or down in your store or your Aldi near you if you've got Aldi near you and it's 166 calories on a nutritional scale it's really great you could have it with wraps a combination of dishes and it's like for yours and mostly my stomach after my myomectomy surgery it's been really great and low in calories as well i can't afford it definitely would get it again eight out of ten i would recommend and give it score wise and it is quite flavoursome as well not to mention that but for my palate I would say I would like a little bit more spice a little bit more chilli but it's still great definitely would get it again and definitely worth getting plant based menu no chicken tikka pieces from the Aldi store yay number three now this was really really tough but yeah it's definitely a top three for me and in Sainsbury's they're doing their thing it's from the plant pioneers range in the Sainsbury's store and they got some great things but this one is the first kind of plant pioneers dish I've actually tried to date so yeah it's really great I hope to try more in the future but yeah it's Mexican style jackfruit flavor wise 10 out of 10 can't fault them price wise 10 out of 10 150 in price i didn't know what to say there 150 in price i didn't know. i don't know why i'm saying 150 uh oh, one pound 50 friends one pound 50 that's just a blip call it a mistake yeah anyway sometimes you get these moments and i've got that moment just now maybe i'm a little slightly bit hungry it's coming up to nine now and i'm slightly waffling as well going off on the tantrum i'm a little bit hungry but i don't like to eat too late so i might just have like a hot drink with a cracker or something i'll just see but yeah without further ado it's really great it's very flavoursome 10 out of 10 for flavour on the nutritional scale it's very good it doesn't have too much salt so it's really good and you can enjoy with they say with tacos or nachos I had it with my wrap and a bit of salad it's absolutely amazing I can't fault it really per 100 grams it's 70 calories really light for my stomach after my myomectomy surgery so it's a win-win for me yeah would i get it again absolutely kudos to sainsbury's they're doing their thing 
Number two for me, this was really difficult, friends, because I recently discovered the oomph range with Donna Meats, plant-based meats, and it's really good. They're doing their thing. I've got a couple of oomph meats. It's really great. But I recently tried the barbecue chunks, which is made by and from soya protein. And they have it in Tesco's, Iceland, Asda. I believe they might have it in other stores in the United Kingdom. But I got mine from Tesco's, which was £2.50 with the club card, because it was a deal. Originally £3.50, as the selling it for £3 roughly as well. Which, to me, if you're on a low budget, is quite pricey. But, yeah, for a good donor and plant-based as well, can't go wrong with this one. It's really great. I kept a lapping it up the other day with, like, just on its own. That's how good it is. It's great. Flavoursome. 10 out of 10 for flavour. For me, I may add a little bit more spice because I love my spice. But yeah, it's great. Number two for me. Did I just say number two? I meant number one. I must be getting tired or something. Number one. At number one. Now, I think this one is at number one because of my heritage i am part caribbean so bayesian from my dad's side and it is corn mini jerk fillets very light in calories half a pack is 84 calories that is amazing flavorsome it's really great i got this in january 2022 Corn is really doing their things. I got it from the Asda store. I think I paid £2.50 or roundabout. But, yeah, it's, it's really great. Great in wraps. You can have it with a plethora of dishes. And, yeah, can't fault it. Would I get it again? Absolutely. Flavoursome wild. It's not like the Sainsbury's plant meats mexican style jackfruit because that was more flavoursome than this but i will still give it 8 out of 10 but i would want a little bit more spice for my palate but yeah it's really great and really light for my stomach as well all in all friends i would say i love all of them i really love all of them would i get all of them again yes 100 percent, i would get all of them again but yeah I just wanted to come in and give you a little bit of a video and just talk to you about plant-based meats. And I hope you all are having a lovely Saturday, whichever place you are in the world. Stay safe, be kind to yourself, be excellent to yourself. And I'll be with you lovely people shortly. Bye for now.